community farming and handloom productions are new concepts that has inspired the rural marginalized people especially the women of sokko in the state of bihar india which is 1200 kilometers away from delhi these women come together and do the farming in one place by taking land in lease सरकारी तरफ से हम लोग का जमीन मिला है जो सब्जी खाती खेती करने के लिए जो हम लोग का छो एकड़ में जमीन में लगाए हुए सब्जी जो पच्चीस हजार हम लोग का पैसा मिला है द प्रोडक्ट आर सोल्ड इन द मार्केट एंड द प्रॉफिट इज शेयर इक्वली अमंग दम द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज रिकग्नाइज एंड एक्सेप्टेड इट एज अ सक्सेस स्टोरी ऑफ द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ मिलेनियम एम्प्लॉयमेंट scheme in the district the concept of working together has changed the attitude of the people of the place and they have adopted it as a model for building an effective self supportive and productive community a community which works together shares the fruits of their labor and thus determines the success of the community through a sustainable method a group that helps itself the community also makes its own decision for the education of the children health care of the people and other basic necessities of the community and make demands that the government is forced to avail and implement the projects meant for the people through the help of the sisters these self help groups have made demands to the local government and have managed to bring electricity to their villages and make public distribution system work effectively they also have made demands for proper road facilities and tree plantation in the surroundings to create a clean safe and sustainable environment This success has made the women to break many of the social taboos in the society. Now, women could climb trees to pluck leaves for plate making, drive vehicle to take their products to market, climb the roof top to do repair work, and many more daring and difficult tasks otherwise were considered as works done by men only awareness has come to them they are taking time out to learn to read and write so that during election they could sign their names and cast their votes they are learning to ride bicycles so that they could reach their destinations faster they are determined to earn more money than their spouses so that they have a say in the family decision making process and the spouses would not show their superiority over them women also have taken keen interest to participate in the political process and even they to question the local leaders and people's representatives the members of legislative assembly all these changes have not sprung up just in a moment it is the result of the untiring effort of the people who ignite their flickering flame 
continuously. The Sisters of Charity of Nazareth have taken risks to reach the unreachable places and to work among the neglected people to lift their spirit by lighting the lamp of hope and determination. By interacting and reflecting with people on the male dominant attitude and false belief system that are prevalent among people. The sisters have initiated them into introspection which has enabled them to rise above the suppressing and dehumanizing situations. <laughs> This has created a community atmosphere and has brought the people of different religions under one umbrella. Looking towards similar goals and destinations in life, education, empowerment and development. <laughs> The success stories have encouraged the women to move ahead with more enthusiasm. When they are introduced to the many government schemes available for them, they take advantage of such schemes. As part of such an attempt, the women have succeeded in getting a handloom production unit set up in their own village. The women do not think of themselves alone, but the well-being of the entire community. The Handloom Center is an entrepreneurship of the sisters engaged in the village work together with the women of the self-help groups in view of giving a proper working environment for women engaged in illegal and health hazardous tobacco cultivation and cigarette making, stone breaking, firewood cutting, etc. ये हमारे तीन ग्रुप को जो प्रोजेक्ट फाइनेंस हुए थे हस्तकरघा के लिए उसी को शुरू किए हैं इसमें लगभग 35 से 40 महिलाएं आती हैं रोज प्रशिक्षण के लिए आशा करते हैं कि ये महिलाएं यहां से प्रशिक्षण लेकर इस काम को शुरू करेगी और रोजगार में शामिल हो जाएगी द इम्प्रॉपर वर्किंग कंडीशन केप्ट द वीमेन अनहेल्दी एंड फियरफुल द चिल्ड्रन व गिवेन लेस अटेंशन एंड देयर एडुकेशन वॉज इग्नोर्ड टूडे दे आर हैप्पी एंड प्राउड ऑफ देयर एंटरप्राइजेस दैट दे हैव अ डिग्निफाइड जॉब and they could gather under one roof to work and discuss matters concerning them and their community they come together and share their success stories and struggles they reach out to other women in need their children are educated well they decide their daughters will be given equal opportunity as their sons Sisters of Charity of Nazareth have been a great help and guide to women in the village since 1972. Sisters are trying to bring about quality changes in the lives of the people. The development works started by the sisters among the women have paved the way for the formation of the self-help groups these groups take time out once a month to come together and discuss matters on development issues hamare first grading mein 25000 loan mila sir usse 10000 rupya hamare anudan aur 15000 rupya hame qarza mila usse humne pattal ka usyog karke apne palan poshan bhi pure kiye sir और फिर ऋण बैंक का भी दिए और कर्ज भी वापस किए सब बिसाइड्स द कंसर्न्स लाइक एजुकेशन ऑफ चिल्ड्रन हेल्थ केयर फैसिलिटीज 
eradication of poverty they also have the concerns of saving their children from joining anti social elements since the villages have naxalite presence unemployment has caused many youth to join such anti social elements of society and people live in constant fear the sisters of charity of nazareth together with women dare to dream a future based on equality justice empowerment self sufficiency and human dignity the women feel the need to stand together and build a wholesome community our efforts are on and we move ahead with hope